ever welcome to our channel tech as tak today i will teach you how can we use a program use a timer in delta plc program and how can we activate multi output by using one timer and one input in delta plc program let's go open your software wpl soft go on new file <coughs> type the program name title which i is using timer timer sequence select the plc type then okay now ladder diagram mode is open take a input which is x0 <coughs> take a timer tmr t0 <coughs> t0k 100 ओके टेक द ऑक्सिलरी कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ टी जीरो टाइमर एल डी टी जीरो ओके एक्टिवेट ए आउटपुट आउट वाई जीरो ओके देन यूज एन अदर एग्जल कॉन्टैक्ट नाउ आई आई विल सी यू हाउ वी कैन बी कंपाइल दिस प्रोग्राम लेट्स बी चेक हाउ इज टाइमर इज वर्किंग Simulate your program. Act forcefully on the X zero. Now timer is running. Now you can see the timer. When the timer is activated, Y zero is activate. Now we extend our program. Go offline. Then now we extend our program. in which we see how can we operate multi output by using one timer and one input take auxiliary input ld x2 take a timer which is <coughs> tmr t <coughs> 2 k 50 the Uh, auxiliary contact of timer t2 ld t2 enter take another one timer tmr t6k 300 in which we are, uh, in this timer we are using 300 milliseconds to make a sequence with the help of uh, comparators less than and greater than use instruction ld less than t6 k 
fifty. Enter. Use command ld. T six. Ld. <coughs> Greater than. T six. K six, K hundred, K hundred, K K output. Which is Y four. <coughs> These. This that is range of timer which is using two out y four four times same I will copy this rung four time four time saving now we are adjust its time. First is fifty to hundred. Then second is k hundred to one hundred fifty. One hundred fifty. Enter. Sir, may I ask you? And third, third comparator is one fifty to. Two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. And four timer comparator we are using K two hundred to K two hundred fifty. No, no, two hundred fifty. It is two hundred fifty. Hmm. Two hundred fifty. Then okay. Okay. Now we change the output. Uh, we need to make another run to complete the time sequence. And two hundred fifty two. This will be three hundred. Three hundred. Okay. Now timer timing sequence is uh, com complete. We change the output. Y four, Y five. We are using Y five. Enter. Y six. Then Y seven. Then Y let <coughs> hmm. we change that will be Y five and that will be Y six and that will be Y seven. At last, we. At last, output I am using Y10. You can, as you wish, the output according to your requirement. I am using Y10. Y10. Okay. Now the timer sequence. Program is complete, but we want to run this program in auto mode. Auto mode, uh, yani auto mode means sequence is repeated again and again. 
now we are using we are using the <coughs> y10 and okay activate a set output set memory bit m0 ld m0 then use a timer tmr t7 k50 <coughs> enter then use timer output ld t7 and reset m m0 rst m0 and then that is complete complete uh, uh, that is complete our program and we are using m0 m0 auxiliary to cut out the t t2 to repeat the sequence now go on simulation mode go online yes then yes then run your program yes now you can see the program is running force the input x0 now you can see the timer is running force the x2 now you can see the second timer is uh, third timer t6 is running first output y4 is running after 50 second now i can show you the how can we see a indication status status of outputs that is the status table y4 y5 and y10 it will be repeated again and again the sequence yes that is the y4 yes then y5 okay then y7 okay then y10 is activated for few seconds then the sequence is repeat again yes go on offline offline your program <coughs> see again and again sequence is running now you can see program is running ok now go offline mode now that's it, the program complete <coughs> thanks for watching tech aaj tak